Welcome back to our second video in this uh, wonderful mini-series. So uh, we just installed R and uh, so you might wonder why are we not getting busy now uh, writing code or, or reproducing research. Um, the reason is we need another um, building block in our, uh, for our uh, working environment and that's an um, IDE, an Integrated Development Environment and the name is RStudio. Our studio is, a, I have to say, wonderful, really wonderful product. I love it to pieces. Um, it is a um, development environment primarily for R, but not only for R. And our studio is also a nice company, I have to say that. I really, I really like what they do. Do you see that they are a B um, company, meaning that they have a, a purpose, have given themselves a purpose that, that differs from the traditional purpose of, of cooperation. So they they uh, have a social um, objective, and I like that a lot. Um, by the way, um, now we are um, going to download our studio. If you are impatient, then obviously uh, you can go to the download page directly. But I wanted to show you this uh, little link to this uh, B Corp uh, thing that our studio has done. Huh? Nice. Okay, so back to um, the development environment. So our studio is very uh, flexible. It comes in different installments and also has a commercial arm because you know people have to eat. Um, so and what we are installing is the desktop version um, and the uh, so the free desktop version and that's perfectly fine for uh, your research needs. Um, and personally, I also like um, the server environment, which is nice if you if you uh, happen to work on remote servers a lot. Um, but we're going to start slow. We're going to start with the desktop version here. So let's download the desktop version. So uh, remember, uh, it's always a good idea to install R first. So see, we did this, check. And now we uh, will start to um, download our studio. This will take a while. Um, and while it does so, I think I can talk a little bit about why development uh, environments are so important. Um, so when you develop code, then uh, there is a there are several steps involved, not just the typing, but also the testing, the debugging, um, you know, reading the you know the function definitions, working through help files. Then you will use different files. You will split up your code in different files, and these files need to be maintained. At some point, you want to start uh, look into project management. You have several files that need to be um, um, combined in order to make your project work. What this means is that you will be having dependencies in your code and all this makes life complicated okay so and this makes research also harder to reproduce because you have all these different files flying around and and some of the references that you see on the um, github repo that we are going to reproduce um, explain to you how you can organize your work in, in these environments, so when you deal with these multiple files and dependencies and the steps that um, you need to take in order to um, create your project, yeah, so create your work. Um, but the most important building block is that you need to use an, a development environment that suits you. And our studio is by no means the only one that is out there. There are many um, development environments, starting with the good old Emacs and, and Vim over to um, Sublime and other uh, well-established um, development environments. The reason why I personally like our studio is first, uh, as a vivid R user, obviously it is uh, very closely t um, knitted to R, so this is really perfect. And at the same time, it's not just R, so you can also code for Python with it, or uh, Stator, or SAS, or what you know, whatnot, right? So basically, every every programming language that you can think of, you can actually use inside of our studio. So it's really flexible. And this is why I would strongly encourage you to take a look, even if you're not sure whether you will uh, be using R regularly. I think it's still um, nice. Um, one of the things that really annoys me a lot uh, when it comes to Stator is this completely outdated and, and, and basically uh, useless uh, development environment that they provide. Um, this is really um, uh, a drawback, let's say. Um, okay, so now, while our studio is um, downloading, maybe let, let us talk a little bit about the next steps of this um, video series here. So the overall objective of this series is um, to show you how easy it is to reproduce uh, research when um, the research project has been designed to be reproducible. For that purpose, 
well, on the TRR266 uh, GitHub page, we have a little bit, a little project repo, uh, which we call a treat, right? And this is um, uh, a repo for empirical accounting research. Sorry if you're not in accounting. Um, a scholar, but anyhow, um, and this wonderful repo will allow you to um, uh, to start your own projects. Yeah, so it's basically just a stub. It's not a real uh, full-blown research project, but it has all the important bits to it. And uh, in this video series, I will take you step by step from a fresh Windows computer to a completely reproduced piece of research. Right. So we will fork this little um, um, repo. From GitHub, and we will now we will not we will we won't uh, fork it. We will clone it, by the way, um, and um, and then we will uh, build it, and then you will have reproduced your own piece of research, and you can use this obviously then as a blueprint for your own projects if you like. Okay, so here you see our studio installed. In the meantime, there was a relatively easy experience. The one thing that I like to do here. I like to pin it to the taskbar so that I can start it relatively quickly. I also think that the R um, button actually looks nice, and this is why. Okay, so now it's the first time that we're gonna start uh, our studio. Um, this takes a while here on this uh, on this little virtual environment. So normally it would be much quicker, obviously, but um, you would see that it will uh, start eventually. Okay, so. Um, Wow, this is really taking a while. Okay, so while this thing, ah, here it goes, yeah? So it pops up and you see that this is typical for IDEs. Um, uh, you see multiple um, subdivisions of the screen. To the left, you see the typical R console and to the right, you see your files and there's an environment where variables will be stored. You will be seeing this later and also other things can be seen. So you see here, now this is R. R can be used as a calculator, wonderful. So four plus three uh, equals seven. But you can also do a little bit more complicated things. So here, for example, I use a vector of one to 100 and I just take the squares. Okay, so this is it. Next up are tools and Git. See you there, cheers.